Men's nipples used to be as shocking as female ones. Indeed, it was illegal for men in many states of America to expose their breasts in public. The difference is, is that in the early 1930s, men decided that enough was enough. On the beaches in Coney Island, Westchester, Atlantic City, male swimmers stripped off their shirts and a nipple covering swimsuits. Other swimmers and sunbathers, as well as law enforcement agents and jurists, were actually outraged. They were called guerrillas. They were fined and threatened with arrest. Luckily, shirtless men actually won that debate. By the end of the decade, these guerrillas were free to flaunt their breasts and their nipples. Now today, men retain the right to walk around topless, but in the UK and many parts of the States, the female breast remains taboo in public places. Indeed, unlike our counterparts in many parts of continental Europe, Britons and Americans still seem rather alarmed by the female breast. Instagram claims that pictures of women's nipples are instances of abuse. There was a public outcry when Janet Jackson's nipple was inadvertently revealed during a televised Super Bowl game. The costume malfunction led to hearings before committees in the US House of Representatives and the Senate. Michael Powell, chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, maintained that it was just the latest in a growing list of deplorable incidents. He complained that, I share the displeasure and fatigue of millions of Americans about the erosion of common decency on television. The CBS was fined more than half a million dollars by the FCC and a five second delay on live broadcasts was introduced. Why is catching a very, very brief glimpse of the breast of an African-American celebrity on a stage in Los Angeles regarded as scandalous, while poring over arty black and white photographs of semi-naked women in the Sudan during humanitarian crises is unexceptional.